There are some new details tonight surrounding the tragedy on the road. Five kids killed in a car crash in Westchester County this weekend. One boy, a nine-year-old, survived. Police confirmed the 16-year-old driver did not have a permit or a license. Tonight, his father speaks exclusively with CBS 2's Lisa Rosner. The driver, 16-year-old Malik Smith Jr., a Brooklyn high school student, is being remembered by family and friends as a great kid who loved basketball. We spoke to his father by phone. Playing basketball, active athlete. He was a kid. Just want to play the game and just be outside. Good grades, everything. This afternoon, the Westchester County executive said Smith was behind the wheel, driving his five cousins ages 8 to 17 when he crashed on the Hutchinson River Parkway just north of the Mamaroneck Road exit. Police believe he either fell asleep or got distracted when he went straight instead of following a curve in the road. The vehicle veered off the parkway, struck a boulder, and then struck a tree. The vehicle then caught fire. Police say one boy, a nine year old Abraham Billups, was in the hatchback and escaped through the shattered rear window with non life threatening injuries. Police say Smith and four of the passengers died from blunt force trauma. Anthony Billups, Jr., a young boy, age 17. Zania Cross, a female, age 12. Sean L. Cross, a female, age 11. And Andrew Billups, a young boy, age 8. Authorities say Smith did not have a driver's permit. His father said family had warned him not to drive. I told him, his mother told him, his older brothers told him, stop driving without a license, without no permit. Anything can happen. You get pulled over, you get in trouble for these things. Stop doing this. Authorities believe Smith was driving his cousins from the mall or a party in New Jersey back to their home in Derby, Connecticut, outside New Haven. Police say the vehicle was rented by a relative and it's under investigation. Investigation how Smith had access to it is devastating. You always think, you know, what, what could, what, what could have avoided this? Authorities are also waiting for the results of toxicology reports. Right now, they say the investigation is not criminal, but that could change. In Scarsdale, New York, Lisa Rosner, CBS Two News. We are told that a candlelight vigil and balloon release are planned tonight in Brooklyn for Smith. The school district there says that support is being provided to friends in their community.